Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Kane Audio Vlog. Um, this week it's not really a tip trick or tutorial, it's just kind of, I don't know, showing you or sharing an idea I've had that I've sort of gone on with uh, in a remix I'm doing. Um, so I'm doing this remix for Red X Saints um, and uh, the original track as with most you know dance music it, it 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 pays focus on beat one of every bar or whatever um and you know i mean most tracks do you have a crash symbol or whatever it is coming in on beat one of say every two four or eight bars um and i kind of wanted to switch that up a bit and do something a bit different so i literally just shifted it back a beat and thought well because there were some stab sounds in there and I thought I'd knock them back and just change the sort of the overall feeling of the track just to begin with and it worked well so then I started to focus on that a bit more and really start paying attention to beat two rather than beat one so um yeah I'll just show you some of the bits um <clears throat> so I don't think at the beginning of the track I don't think there's any noise no, it's just the hats and white noise and whatever. Um, then I bring in the uh, the kicks, and that's where um, I start to pay focus on beat two. You'll hear the stab. So that's where things start to take in. Then sub bass and everything sort of comes in about a minute into the track like this. So that's all well and good and then over time i fade in a new melody and more drums blah 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 as usual um and there's a melody down here somewhere that one and that again you know the 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 cycle of the melody where quite often with a lead line you'll obviously have your first note on beat one makes sense um but again with this I've sort of brought the first note in on beat two um, so I'll play you a clip of that so it does all of that the melody carries on uh, get a couple of variations and then it leads to the breakdown where I then completely change out the melody for a new one on a new synth um, and that sounds like this As you as you can hear it's pretty much just sub bass and everything and that sub bass is actually my Moog sub 37 and it's actually playing chords I'm just filtering out the top elements um, and slowly opening the filter over a breakdown as you'd expect but it's all building for me in my head it's all building to that for want of a better word the drop um, where normally you know a lot of tracks will just have everything coming in at, at one point and that's beat one all the time I sort of thought well what I want to do is I want to actually fade things out a bit just maybe have a little bit of white noise sweeping in or something telling the listener the drops about to happen um, but hold that tension and anxiety and the way I've done that is by holding the last bar of chords um, or the last bar of chords of, of a phrase and just hold that for the last few bars and just maintain it so it just holds that tension leading to beat one but everything actually comes in on beat two um, beat one is just a kick drum on its own and sometimes I find with music uh, sometimes it's the silence is the important bit sometimes it's the lack of something that makes something um, and I think this is maybe a good example of that. Um, so yeah, I'll play the, the last part of the breakdown and uh, and you'll hear what I mean by it coming in on beat two rather than beat one.
so yeah um that's basically it um it's all about sort of changing the focus i guess and um you know it's not something i would want to do in every track at all um it's i think it's probably a one-off thing for me might do one one day but um it's just one of those things that i just thought well it's a bit different um so i thought i'd share it in this week's video um i hope you like the idea uh obviously obviously as always you know get involved hit like comment subscribe um you know the more you can sort of share these videos the the better the channel will grow which means i'm going to hopefully make more of them um so yeah please do get involved uh, otherwise i'll see you next week cheers